In California, by the way, where the state is destroying another critical industry, which is independent trucking, Mike, this recent uh, piece in National Review explains that a law that Newsom, Governor Newsom signed in 2019, forces independent drivers to surrender the companies that they've built and seek employment in large firms that can uh, go on to hire them. What the heck kind of impact does this have on costs for all Americans? And- yeah, this is something that, in my view, is, is is maybe the biggest unreported story in the country right now. AB5 is the assembly bill you're referring to. It's become law. You're right. Newsom signed it. Uh, Will Swaim uh, wrote the article in the National Review, and I had him on my podcast to talk about it because it's not just truckers, right? This started with uh, ride sharing, Lyft, sort of sil- a Silicon Valley thing. It's moved into all aspects of freelance work and the gig economy, and it is completely under fire. There's a trucker named Tom Odom, who you should talk to. You would really enjoy this guy. Mm. He came from nothing out of East L.A. He built a business. He nets close to $200,000 a year driving his own truck. It's over for him. He's gone. He's moving to Texas and 70,000 other independent truckers in this state are looking at the end of the way they want to work. And if you think that it's going to impact everything in the supply chain, anybody with anything in their house that was ever on a truck is going to be impacted by this. And look, maybe it's too late for California, but there is an act in Congress right now to take this thing nationwide. And people need to pay attention to that. Here are 10 reasons of why truck drivers tend to quit their job. Number one, being asked as a driver to run over your hours. Number two, running unsafe equipment. Number three, when you as a driver feel that you're unsatisfied with the home time. Number four, when drivers can't get along with their dispatchers. Number five, when you as a driver hate the lanes that you're driving. Number six, pay is insufficient. Number seven, when you're working for a company that has way too much downtime and waiting time. Number eight, when drivers feel that they're unappreciated. Number nine, when you're working for a company that has a horrible safety score and you're spending way too much time at the scales. And number 10, when a driver feels that he's micromanaged.